Hi guys, welcome to another Kimikaze creation video. Surrounded by car parts, absolutely loving it. Um, as you can see, I've gone a little bit further on the 1G with the polishing, and I'll show you that process in a second. Um, I've also been looking at the manifold and uh, stripping it down and getting it down to the bare basics and having a look at that uh, valve setup and what I can do with it, whether I can reuse it and uh, put it in as a packer and uh, put the manifold back on. But this intake side starting to look good and I'll show you what I'm up to. I'll also give you an idea of how I polished up those uh, rocker covers. I don't know whether other people have done it. I certainly did a fair bit of research myself and trying to work out how to do it. And it was a combination in the end. I started with a wire brush to get rid of all the tarnishing, just a wire brush on an um, electric buffing machine. Um, used a combination of uh, different grits of wet and dry through the process especially after buffing it and still seeing the tarnishing there, got into it with the wet and dry. Uh, uh, but in the end, the polishing wheel is what brings it up after you've got rid of all the imperfections. And I'll show you my setup for a polishing wheel. It's nothing flash. Anyway, here we go. So I'll just take you out to where I've been doing that polishing. There's my LH sitting up in a rotisserie. And the 300ZX sitting over there waiting for an engine swap. But over here is my polishing wheel. It's just a, a material wheel sitting on a little grinder. She's pretty grotty. These are the um, uh, waxy sticks. They're all different grades. Just squeeze those into the... Um, when the buffing wheel's running, just squeeze them into the buffing wheel. And that does a lot of the, a lot of the polishing. So that's how it's done. This side took me quite a bit longer. I've probably been going for a few hours on it, but I think I've done a better job than the other side. Now I'm thinking I should take it off and give it a bit more of a polish, but looking really good. And, and you know, I'm not after perfection. I'm just cleaning it up. I even gave the distributor a little bit of a rub just to tidy that up. But those uh, rocker covers are looking pretty swish. So I've got a look at the intake manifold and uh, pulling apart, if we come back over here, this is that little valve set up here. So I'm going to look at dismantling that and uh, using it as a spacer. I don't know how I go about polishing that. Um, Anyone got any ideas? I'd appreciate it. That's pretty convoluted. I don't know whether there's some way that you can do it mechanically send it somewhere and get it polished up but anyway keep moving forward i'm just starting to pull apart this butterfly system because my plan was to use this just as a spacer in behind the manifold now i've stripped this part down but the concern and if i can get some feedback from some fellas and i might ask a question on toy mods is those holes in there. So after it comes in the intake side and channels down through the manifold, we've got our individual intakes going to individual cylinders. These holes in here, have people used these and done this before? And what have they done with those holes? Have they plugged them up? Or does it create a bit of balance in the cylinders having those holes there? Be interested to know your feedback. But anyway, for those that haven't done it, um, getting them out isn't easy as you can see each of these butterflies I can get it rotate is uh, individually screwed off on that shaft and this whole assembly is three separate parts fixed together um, there was a fixing plate over here this fixing plate joined this part to this part through these holes here so what I've done to get it apart is basically on the underside of here, all of those butterflies have been, uh, the ends of the screws have been peened. So I've just using one of those step drills, something that's reasonably solid. This guy, step drill. Um, and drilling those screws out and then popping the butterflies off and then the shaft pulls out. So here's an example over here. 
Here's a couple of those butterflies. Here's the actual shaft that's pulled out that holds those butterflies in to give me that individual piece. And my plan was basically to join it back together with those plates and use it as a spacer in behind the manifold. So I'd be interested to know what other people have done. Anyway, I'll keep going. There we go, guys. That uh, butterfly system is all disassembled. I actually... Um, this actuator was spot welded onto this bracket so I drilled out those spot weld holes so I could use that bracket again and join it back together so my only question really is those holes that the main pivot shaft ran up through there I'd be interested to know what people have done with that uh, in the end I might have to get a whole new item uh, laser cut or um, water cut to replace it but it'd be good if I could use that one so that's it sitting back in place on the motor, being used as a spacer. Needs a bit of a clean up if I'm going to reuse it. But yeah, good stuff. So this manifold is my next mission, tidying it up, breaking it down, getting rid of the stuff I really don't need. I've got to pull that... Um, extra injector out of the bottom there and blink that plate off and also the idle control uh, block that off but I've just got to get to know this manifold a little bit um, I've heard, see, read a fair bit on the forums about reusing this throttle body because it sort of works with the motor but I'd be interested to see if I can find something uh, a bit more modern whether I need to or not I don't know and the other option is I've actually bought a complete motor another complete motor and uh, I may because I'm getting a second manifold I may look at cutting the top off it completely and seeing if I can get something made locally a new uh, front intake manifold fabricated up at least I've got some options so that manifold looks so much better already just with all the gear pulled off it. Um, here's the old throttle body down here. I think this is a throttle position sensor off the side here. I'd be interested to have a look at that. I've been doing a bit of read up on throttle position sensors. And uh, I think the analog version basically only show you open and close. Um, and I'd like, they reckon the best version is that gives you full throttle position no matter where you are so i'll have to check that out and see what that one's like but really i would i'd like to do a custom manifold i i've been swaying my thoughts um this looks very achievable like i, I come out of an engineering background fitted by trade and i just look at this and think we could cut this whole top section off which i've seen people do um uh, get a piece of aluminium tube welded on there and fashion up um a front throttle body mount that way i could go uh, a bigger throttle body as well so this is yeah, about 55 mil this hole so really or well, theoretically the biggest throttle body i can put on is a 55 mil because of this opening uh, can restricts it anyway so i'll have a little bit of a think about that and see which way i go so guys everything's moving along really well with this car a lot quicker than i expected um, it's coming together. I'm really keen on that intake side. Now I've got the uh, manifold pulled down as far as I have. I'll have a look at a few alternatives to that and what I can do uh, with it. Customise it, use it standard, I'm not sure. Um, I actually have contacted a small company uh, in another town up from where I live. They do um, water jetting, uh, so they can cut one of those uh, spacer plates out using a, a high stream of uh, water. Um, I've sent them a picture of it, just waiting on getting a quote, but that's a great solution, and it's good to find a company close to me that'll do that. Anyway, guys, keep watching as the intake side progresses, because I'm not far, really, from looking at those uh, injectors in the injector rail and starting to set that side up. So all looking good. Keep watching.